This is the Work Your Money podcast with host Michelle Wong right here at the South Jersey Real Estate Investment Association. Hi guys, this is the Work Your Money podcast with host Michelle Wong and I have a great guest, Ryan Fisher. Hi uh, Michelle. How are you? Good, thank you. It's been a little bit of a while. We've been having a little conversation because we've, uh, I guess, bumped into each other in a couple of networking events yes. in the New York area. So that's where we were trying to get more familiar with that. But um, Ryan, let's just get into what you do. So tell us a little bit about yourself and your company. Okay. Uh, Ryan Fisher with Camera Plan. We do self-directed IRAs which basically means we're not a brokerage house. We let people, instead of buying stocks or mutual funds, they can actually go purchase physical real estate in their IRA and have their IRA collect the rent and you know grow the wealth that way, as well as private lending. Uh, the private lending field is very big. There's a lot of people that are lending on real estate. There's a bunch of other things and private companies and uh, a lot of different options. But basically, it puts you in control of your retirement funds and picking the investments. Yes, and I think that overall, uh, people that are starting out in real estate investing do not know that that's one of the options that are available to them, is to tap into their IRA and basically utilize that to be able to invest and the good thing about that is that you can put the money back and just like keep growing your portfolio. Yeah, that is um, very true. A very small percentage of people, unless they're parts of these groups and know other people doing it, um, aren't aware or know what a truly self-directed IRA is. Uh, but it's a huge source um, for a lot of people because the banks have been, in the past few years, have been very tough to get funds from. and. Uh, people had to find other resources and there's trillions of dollars in these retirement accounts that people don't know that they could be using so once somebody finds that out they're able to pool a lot more funds um, into their deals and uh, what they're doing with real estate and I think it's one of the safer ways as well uh, in regards to uh, as in real estate investing per se, it's much safer than investing in stocks per, you know, I, I think that they're, the risk about, I mean, there's going to be risk, but it's a, it's a little bit more safer, I would say, than investing well, in stock. I, I would agree with that as long as you know what you're doing in real estate. Other people, I mean, understanding lending is a little easier too on real estate, but I think you can take risk out with your own knowledge and expertise. Um, so if you know what you're doing, you know the area, you know what it's going to rent for, um, I think, in my opinion, that's less risky than something I can't control. You know, something happens overseas, it goes down. Um, I know what, you know, roughly what somebody's going to get in real estate. Economy does a little better, maybe I make a uh, hundred bucks more, a little worse, but there's a window there and, you know, I haven't seen it go to zero yet. Um, but I, do, I would agree that I think a lot of people think it's um, a safer way for their comfort level to invest. Okay, and it, what have you seen in the past year? Uh, any changes in 2017? Or is there anything new that has been implemented in 2017? Um, not necessarily. I mean, IRAs have uh, been around since you know the 70s, and they've been around a long time. So uh, the rules don't really change. Limits and things will change from time to time. Um, but just some of the private lending rules have changed, and crowdfunding, and some of the other new uh, opportunities that have come up. Uh, but generally speaking, you know, you've been able to do real estate, you know since IRAs were created, uh, but only the really, really wealthy were able to do that because the brokerage houses wouldn't let, you know, say the average person do it. Yeah. If you had $50 billion with them, they usually don't tell you no. <laughs> yeah, and now it's, it's structured more for individuals that just want to have yeah. a little bit of extra to fall back 
when they retire. So at least they have something there for them, and and, and people are becoming more aware of that. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, people are becoming more aware of it. There's books. There's video. There's a lot of information. Uh, they. A lot more information than what you could have gotten 10 years ago. Absolutely, absolutely. So, uh, Ryan, for all our viewers out there, where can they find you? Um, Camaplan, C A M A P L A N dot com. You can also reach us at 215 283 2868. Uh, but I definitely encourage you to check out Camaplan.com. There's a lot of information there. Awesome. So, guys, there you have it. Until the next time, this is the Working Money Podcast. Bye.